Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics, sitting outside enjoying the sunshine. Looks like uh, this is the first day of the weather maybe going up a you know up a level towards spring you know into the for us you know the zero degrees and maybe a couple degrees above zero you know celsius so uh great day to be outside and nice and sunny and uh maybe bang out a couple uh pipe reviews and do some reading and just enjoy myself i'm sitting out here reading uh a book called uh josephus the complete works of josephus I'm really interested in um, the time between, you know, like Christ and the the Reformation, you know, the Dark Ages. They're just, it just, maybe it's because it's called the Dark Ages and maybe it's such a mystery that it, it's intriguing to me. Um, and plus there's just not a lot of information. So uh, it's just something I, I've been uh, trying to find some information on and I've got a few books, uh, you know, about the Roman Empire and the fall of the Roman Empire and oh, what else do I have? Um, couple other books but they're just huge like just so daunting but uh, I'm just gonna chew away at them a little bit at a time and give me an excuse uh, to come out and smoke my pipe which is always a good thing so today I am reviewing just for him's shortcut to mushrooms and this one's been a long time coming when I first started smoking the pipe it, it, about that time it, this this blend was kind of in its heyday and I heard lots about it, but um, but never thought I could get it because back then I didn't realize that uh, it was possible to to have tobacco shipped over to Canada. And then one day I realized uh, that they would ship to Canada, so I ordered a bunch of it. And I was really uh, intrigued to try it because back then I was new to pipe smoking and I was just getting into English blends. And the idea of a crossover blend was interesting to me. Now, what I mean is, is to those who don't know, Shortcut to Mushrooms is an aromatic tobacco, but with a little bit of Latakia added to it as well. Now, uh, the name comes from the movie, uh, not The Hobbit, but Lord of the Rings. And there's a part in the movie somewhere towards the beginning where the, they're out in the woods and they're, the one character asks the other, what are you doing out here? And they jump off to the side and they say, you know, yell shortcut to mushrooms, you know, because they're looking for a shortcut to these mushrooms they want to eat. So, of course, um, The Hobbit being popular back then and to a lot of pipe smokers, the Just For Him company uh, took the advantage of that and made a bunch of different tobaccos that were... Um, that were that would go on you know use the names you know like hobbit's weed and and be sort of uh um, tobaccos that you could pair up with with the movie if you're a fan of the movie tree beard and a couple other different blends but this is the one that intrigued me the most and some people were you know saying is there mushrooms in it it tastes like mushroom soup it's mushroomy so i was really uh it was one of those blends that i was just Probably one of the most anticipated blends for me. And when I got it and smelled it, 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 it has a very unique smell to it. Which I can uh, actually give you a, what I think of it. Yeah, there is nothing really like it. It's sort of like um, a... Like they say, like there's a little bit of a mushroom, mushroomy mustiness to it, but mostly 90% of the smell is sort of a vanilla, or I like to look at it as like a baby powder, um, icing sugar. Very sweet, but that mustiness and mushroom kind of keeps it from being cloyingly sweet. Taste-wise, I was very surprised. Um, people were saying, you know, how much Latakia was in it. I, honestly, unless someone told me, I wouldn't know that there was Latakia in it. I don't really taste it. There is a body to it and a depth to it that most aromatics don't have. But to me, it, I, it doesn't seem like... I wouldn't say it's from Latakia. I would say it's... I wouldn't know where it was coming from. But it's a very unique blend. At first, when I first got it, it was pretty moist. And it's a really coarse cut ribbon. I'll show you here. So yeah, really, um, it's a ribbon, but it's thick, thick, chunky ribbons, and moist and very hard to keep lit. And I found that it didn't really bite me as much as after the first couple puffs, I get either tongue bite or tongue fatigue. 
if, if the blend isn't the right chemistry and it just I just lost the taste but now I, I dry it out a little more and crumble it up a bit and I get the taste a lot it tastes uh, much better now so what am I getting it, uh, it's staying lit very well by the way I get uh, first thing that is that odd taste that it has just uh, a sweet powdered sugar with a musty mushroomy type of uh, type of essence to it now if you're not a, if you're not an aromatic uh, a lover then you you know and you like Englishes or crossover blends but you still don't like for sure don't like aromatics this probably wouldn't be up your alley but if you like different um, aromatic blends this this is pretty pretty unique it's still not super flavorful it, there is a flavor there but it's it's sort of in between it's not like really light um, like a, a Captain Black white and it's not really heavy like some of the real goopy you know Sutliff aromatics it's right in the middle but ultimately I was disappointed with it it wasn't everything I expected but now that my expectations have gone down from it I do find myself enjoying it and uh, once in a while when I'm just in the mood for something different and air and sweet I go to this one so yeah that's about all I have to say about shortcut to mushrooms by just for him and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys are enjoying your day and uh, things are going great for you so stay tuned for some more reviews and uh, I'll talk to you guys on my next one take it easy aromatics signing out